Welcome back everyone, Don here. Today I'm gonna to get the tractor dirty, moving this uh, load of gravel. I got 10 yards of uh, uh, crusher run. They call it uh, dense pack, three quarter inch down to dust uh, dense pack. And I'm gonna be putting it on the trail uh, as a top coat. I may go over it next year. This will get me through the winter, but I may I may put some, uh, some stone on top of that. I don't know, we'll see how it holds up over the winter. Uh, but before I do any of that, I'm going to break out my blower and uh, get some of these leaves off of here. It's fall. It's a beautiful fall day. It's crisp, about 50 degrees. The leaves are changing. They're even starting to fall, and they're starting to accumulate along the wall down the trail here. Um, let me turn the camera around, and I'll give you a look-see. Rather than cover those leaves over with the, with the gravel, I'm just going to blow them off and uh, get them out of the way before I start spreading gravel. That's uh, another thing about spreading that material. Once it uh, gets wet once, it'll pack and harden, and it won't be so dusty like this. That'll be nice. Yeah. Yeah. I got my rake handy because I know my loader skills are garbage. So it's not likely, but maybe by the time I get to the other end of the trail, I will have practiced enough to not need to use the rake. I'm not counting on that though.
So like I said, I'm using a rake just to ensure consistency so I don't uh, put the product down too thick for no reason. Um, but check this out. Chipmunk. He's had that hole there for a while. And uh, when I was building the wall, it got covered over. He'd dig it out again. And then it got covered over again. And he'd dig it out again. He's got another one over on the side here. It's probably covered with leaves. But he uh, he comes and goes. And I see... <laughs> yeah, yeah, here we go. Here's another one. Here's another one right here. He comes and goes all the time. I see him pop his head out of the road. Um, and uh, live and let live. I don't... Uh, I don't mind that he's digging holes down here because, um, you know, there's really nothing too critical down here. But um, uh, I, I hate to cover over his hole, but I'm going to have to. Hopefully he, uh, hopefully he finds a solution to it that doesn't include digging another darn hole. I can't imagine that the rain don't go right down in there and flood the place. Anyway, that's where we're at so far. I've, I haven't made a dent in the pile of... Uh, material that I bought. Uh, like I said, I bought 10 yards and uh, just trying to put it down a couple inches thick. And uh, I think uh, I think it's going to work out good. I will uh, get further than I expected with it, which is good. But I've got some, some, oh, there's Alvin right there. Hey, buddy. How you doing? What you up to? Oh, he just went in my drain. <laughs> he just went in the drain pipe. There he is with his head sticking out. Hopefully he doesn't nest up in there. I never thought to plug those up thinking that it would just, the leaves would go down and it would just be a bigger mess. Um, I think the water must come out of there at a high, high enough velocity that if he does try to build the nest in there, that the rainwater will wash it out of there. I haven't had any clogs. Hopefully I won't. So I've hardly made a dent in the uh, pile of material I purchased. And uh, I'm, I'm not too picky about how much of it gets spilled around up here because I still need to dig out some of this uh, topsoil and transition to the driveway uh, as tight and as hard down as I can so I can keep the edge of the driveway from cracking, from driving on it over time. Um, I'll be using some of this material for that. left Alvin's side door open so he can come and go. I'm sure he has other uh, access points, but uh, I don't know. I feel weird about filling it in on the little guy. 
like I said, I don't mind him digging around here. He can uh, he can live out here all he wants and dig all the holes he wants, as long as he stays out of my car. So his other hole is somewhere in this section here. Um, let's see how long it takes him to uh, to get it back opened up. Um, I'm sure he'll have it opened up before not too long. So we're making progress. I'm making slow progress, but that's okay. That's the nice thing about doing projects around your own house. You get to take a coffee break whenever you feel like it. And for me, that's right now. So I went inside, got a coffee, took about 20 minutes, came back out, and Alvin has already redug his hole. Punk. That's it for today. I, uh, I've got to run out and go do some other stuff, but uh, 
I still need to do up around the driveway and I need to move some more of that material up behind the shed and a couple other spots. I'm going to hit this with the rake. It looks like uh, with a little practice, I suppose uh, a little practice pays off. This uh, uh, back dragging seems to be working for me. So, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to rake a little bit of this out, scrape down some of the thick spots. I appreciate you hanging out. I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.